Now, our first guest tonight is a, a very major movie star. He's responsible for four and a half billion dollars in ticket sales, but what he really wants to do is write comic books. This is his dream come true. It's called Berserker. Volume two is out now. Please say hello to Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Now, you know, I have to say, you don't seem like a comic book nerd, but I guess you are. Um, I don't know if I rate nerdy. I might have lost my nerd card as I got older. Yeah. Because when I was younger, I was pretty friggin' nerdy. Yeah. With the comics. <laughs> Going to the comic book store, getting all the good Oh, yeah, comics, all that stuff. I feel there. like, though, is like when you're a kid and you're a comic book nerd, and then you whatever, and then but then you sit when you hit fifty and you're still into comic books, you're a nerd. You know. All right, man, I'll be a nerd. I'm. I'm oh I'm yeah, I was, you know, I'm the same. I mean, I mean, you grew up reading comics, right? Now, I'm also a nerd. Yes, I, not just reading comics, but I would do the same thing. I was writing comics and drawing the comics. What uh, What was your genre? Were you super superheroes? Heroes? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. What were some of the names? Uh, well, I had Muscle Man was my main So you superhero. went down the man road. Oh, yeah. With the Muscle Man. I wasn't that creative. Muscle Man was the king of superheroes. He had a crown oh, wow. to show that he was the king. And his logo his, was muscles. They were like actually muscles, <laughs> real lumpy muscles. And he had a sidekick named Color Kid who had all the powers of the rainbow, which I realized later on in life are none, are no powers. <laughs> He it just could dazzle you. Yes, right? he would. Rainbow. That's exactly. He would shoot rainbows out of his hands, and I don't know what effect that had, but yeah, that was my guy. And then I had the two uh, teams, the Terrific Ten and the Terrible Ten. It was ten good guys. It was like kind of like my Fantastic Four. Or, yeah, yeah. Or you know whatever. Yeah. Wait, so did you have a super villain besides the Terrible Ten? Oh was yeah. That a I had a lot tell. of them. I want to hear about the super <laughs> I, had, I had, oh, God, I remember, like, Dr. Uh, Dr. Man. or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> no, it wasn't Dr. <laughs> there was, like, an eyeball. And it, one, it was one of the guys. That's spooky. Yeah, and, um, oh, there was a leprechaun called Lucky Lad who was kind of evil, and it would steal, <laughs> steal gold. Yeah. I, you know what? We should get... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could collaborate on this. Because <laughs> this um, book oh, sold, Berserker, man. the first edition sold 650,000 copies, which yeah. is crazy. Wow. I didn't know that. Did you know crazy. it was the most, it's the most like popular new character comic book of like the, the century yeah. or something like that. <laughs> That's crazy. I, yeah, that sounds crazy. Did you have any idea that when you um, came up with this idea, why did you come up with this idea? Don't, don't you have enough going on? I, yeah, man, but I mean, I love telling stories, and uh -huh. I, um, I just, uh, um, I just, I had this idea, and I went to go, you know, I went on a general meeting, right? Like, you're gonna go, and I met with this company called Boom Studios, um, and there was, I was talking to them, they were talking to me. I mean, I was like, they said, do you have any ideas? And I said, yeah, I have this idea of this guy who could punch through people's chests and rip their arms out. <laughs> um, and, you know, who was born 80,000 years ago. And they kind of went, excuse me. And I was like, yeah. And they were like, do you want to make a comic? And I was like, and then I started to kind of like look around where I was and I noticed all these comic books and I was like, yeah, absolutely, I want to make a comic book, you know? Because I'd gone there thinking maybe it was an idea for a film, but then they were like, you know. We'll start it as a comic book. Yeah, man, and, and I love comics, and so, you know, I'd never done it before, and um, they helped put together a super team, and uh, another writer, Matt Kent, a and legendary artist, Ron the, Garney. And, yeah, the character, uh, Berserker, looks like, I mean, looks just like you. Did you say make him look like me? <laughs> Was that part of the <laughs> directive? <laughs> okay, but, but to be fair, <laughs> I'm really right for the role. You are. 
You sure it's are. It's almost like typecast it. I'm like really right for it. How mad would you be if they put somebody else in this role? <laughs> I, I mean, am Berserker for I'm that sake. Bers I am. I know, that would be awful. <laughs> <laughs> now, what comics were you into when you were a kid? Um, let's see. Uh, depends what age group. Like if it was super young, like yeah, going young. to camp, you know, on the on the on the bus, then it was like the camp bus. It was like Richie Rich. Oh, really? The Archies, and then oh. as I got a little older, um, it was like when kind of like the first independent thing was the Fabulous Furry Freak Brothers. Did you yeah. ever read yeah, that? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. 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 Right. Right. Free Will and Franklin. Fred Please Freddy's have that cat. man removed. Whoever uh, just shouted out. <laughs> Yeah. No, so that was like my first kind of alternative kind of window, like when I was 12, 13, 14. And then I got into the, to the man, so it was like Iron Man, Superman, Batman. Um, and then I, and then I uh, got introduced to Frank Miller and... Yeah, right. Um, and so then it was like Wolverine um, and Akira and... Uh, the serious superheroes. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was like... Yeah, and I know that Marvel's been trying to get you to play one of these characters. Uh, what characters have they offered you? Go ahead. I'm, I'm not. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> which you know, which... it's was really cool. I, I mean, I think you know the way that the Marvel films have developed and what they are is really you know spectacular. And yeah, it would be great to be a part of that. Who would ten-year-old Keanu Reeves want to play? Ten-year-old Reeves? Yeah. <laughs> Ten-year-old Reeves would want to... I think he'd probably want to be Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. Now, yeah. I've heard that... I've heard people say that you should be Ghost Rider. In fact, every character, they're like, Keanu Reeves should be Prince <laughs> Namor, should be Ghost Rider, should be Silver Surfer. Every, every one of the... Muscle I... Man, people are saying you should play. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to play the leprechaun. <laughs> I want the character role to me. I like you as the leprechaun, I yeah, want for to sure. Be the leprechaun. <laughs> We're going to take a break, okay. and um, I, I learned something very interesting about you, something I did not know, and I don't know. Uh, how many people know? I assume you know, but we're going to learn more about Keanu Reeves when we come back. We'll be right back. I'm playing a 17-year-old a body with a 40-year-old mind, okay? But then I had to play with my conception of 40, which was sort of older, right? You, you look at a 40-year-old and go, you're old, you know, but he's yeah. not. I mean, Robert Urich, I was watching him, he's a bouncy guy, mm -hmm. you know, and so I was trying to get that in there as well. I'm basically confused. You are, but it sounds <laughs> like a juicy, challenging role, and it's good that you got this one, and yes. we look forward to seeing you in other things, and thank you very much. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. There's Ghost Rider right there. <laughs> Young Ghost Rider. <laughs> You're um, you're uh, you were raised in Toronto. I didn't know you were gonna do that. Oh, you didn't. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> wow. wow, that's a blast from the past. What movie were you promoting? Do you remember? Um, yeah, at the time, well, it was promoting was called Young Again, and um, I grew up in Toronto. I wanted to be an actor when I was 15. I had an agent. Um, I had a connection to someone who was a manager in the States, and I went to meet an agent here in Los Angeles, and they were like, "It's great, but you haven't done anything. Come back when you've done something." I had an agent in Toronto. There was American Productions coming to do, like, they needed Canadian content. Uh -huh. And so um, I auditioned for the side role, but then they were like, hey, you can be the guy, one of the guys, you know? And I was like, cool. And then, uh, <laughs> and so it was Lindsay Wagner and Robert Ulrich and- um, Wow, and, Lindsay Wagner, oh, yeah, the bionic right? woman. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and um, so it was really, it was a big break for me because it was a, 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 like a movie of the week. Yeah. It was a great role, and um, that allowed me to kind of get an agent in Hollywood. You came to Hollywood. I came to Hollywood when I was 20. 20 years old. Drove my car. You live here now, right? I do, yeah, I've been living here since 1985. And yet, technically, you're not a U.S. citizen. No, man, I'm still a Canadian. You're a Canadian. <laughs> And you will always be a Canadian. But is that not something that you're interested in, in being a U.S. citizen? Yeah, absolutely. You course. are interested in it. Yeah, man, why not? Well, why hasn't the president called and said, yeah, we'd love to sign you up? I, I mean, for know. God's I gotta, sake. I'll send him some berserker. And see <laughs> yeah. like, so this know. is something, have you, I mean, because I do have the paperwork here. If you wanted to fill it out, we got it. Um, this is a, we even got you a pen. 
That you can feel that out. It's nice, very patriotic. And this America. is a laminated form, thinking about applying for naturalization. Yes, please. And then this is kind of, Guillermo did this, by the way. Yes. Was it hard, Guillermo? No, it's real easy. You should do it. <laughs> <See that? laughs> Guillermo, you filled out all this stuff? This is a lot of stuff to fill out. Yeah, I did, Jimmy. But... You filled out all of these things. Wow, that's yeah. impressive. Or, you know, I will tell you another thing, and I discussed this with my wife. You and I could get married if you wanted to. <laughs> that would get you right in. Were you married? I know, but I told her we you'd, might have to make some amendments to you'd our constitution. You'd be a criminal. You'd be, on the, you'd be on the run. <laughs> We'd have to be on the run, Jimmy. All right, I, I'll take that as a no, I guess. I, I don't know. That's a no. Boy, there's a lot of information here, but I think, um, you know, we could fill this out for you or something. <laughs> and, uh, cool, but I, man. Yeah, so you take this home. That. Thank you very much. And then, if you know, if it all works out, if you want to go through with it, we'd love to have a special ceremony for you here um, to welcome you as our newest America. Yeah? Oh, that would be great. And we'll get all your favorite heroes. Captain America and Wonder Woman will come here. It'll be very patriotic. And the leprechaun. And the leprechaun. <laughs> lucky, lucky lad will be here. Lucky lad. <laughs> That's really cool to you guys. Yeah, man. well, hey, listen, we'd love to have we, you. You would be a welcome addition to this nation. And apologies to Canada. You know, I mean... No, 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 wait. You can still be a dual citizen, right? You can still be a dual citizen, yes. You yeah. will still maintain... I mean, I don't your... want to, like, you know, yeah. I mean, if you can, you know, two sometimes is better than one. It... Almost always, yeah. Right? Why not have a backup? Better for ice cream. <laughs> uh, yeah, better, uh, yeah. More, more, more. What My wife says it's better with husbands if you want to rethink <laughs> that whole thing, you know? So... <laughs> All right, well, it's great to have you. This uh, is the book. Cheers, it's uh, it's super popular. It's called Berserker no, but Volume it's really 2. really cool. It is cool, it yeah. It's good. It the is cool. The story's good. There's some action, some pathos, you know. There's a lot of really life. good drawings. It's you drew amazing. it on. Ron you, Garney, your artist awesome. drew it on paper instead it's, of on his computer, which right. I like. Natural. Yeah. It's you good. did it all right. Keanu Reeves, good, everybody. Man. We'll be right back. <laughs>